Hey everyone, welcome to the psychology lecture series. In this video, we are going to talk about ethics in conducting and reporting research. Research ethics address the application of ethical principles or values to the various issues in the field of research. This includes ethical aspects of the design and conduct of research, the way human participants or animals within research projects are tested, whether research results may be misused for criminal purpose. It also refers on aspects of scientific misconduct. Research integrity is recognized as the attitude and habit of the researchers to conduct research according to the appropriate legal, ethical and professional frameworks, obligations and standards. The fields of research ethics and research integrity combine general ethical reflections. Given the importance of ethics for conduct of research, multiple agencies, association and universities have adopted specific codes, rules and policies relating to research ethics. When research is carried out, it gives rise to certain ethical issues. Let us now look at some of the ethical issues along with guidelines that should be followed for each. Every participant in the research should voluntarily participate in it and should not be forced to do it. Even if research is being conducted on specific groups such as a particular group of criminals, they should be given the option to participate in the research voluntarily, not forcibly encouraged to do so. All participants should be aware of the kind of tests that are going to be conducted and the effects of tests on them. Informed consent requires the participant to give the researcher written consent for the tests to be carried out. No participant should be deceived or misguided regarding the test. No information should be withheld from the participant. However, in some cases, deception is an inherent part of research. In such cases, it should be ensured that deception is the only alternative to carry out the research. Participants should at least have a general idea of what is to be expected in the course of research. It is the responsibility of the researcher to ensure that a participant is not psychologically or emotionally affected after participating in the research. The expected results of the research should be communicated to the participant so that they are prepared for them. In short, they should not be overwhelmed after the research is over. Every participant should be allowed to withdraw from the research process at any time when he or she feels uncomfortable or uneasy irrespective of the payment incentive provided to them which should be made to them in any case. Confidentiality of each participant should be maintained in terms of their personal information, the specific tests conducted on them and the results of the research unless otherwise specified in the initial stages and officially written. In such a case, a participant may choose to continue or withdraw from the research. All participants should be asked if they have any pre-existing conditions that will interfere with the research, be it physical or psychological. They should not be allowed to participate if the intensity of the condition cannot be altered. Every professional should be able to and should willingly provide proof of competency in the field that is achieved through education and work experience. Such professionals should also willingly provide referrals to patients whenever needed. Avoid discrimination on the basis of sex, race, ethnicity 
or other factors not related to scientific competency and integrity. I hope you like this video. Please share these videos with everyone who is preparing for this exam. Thank you.